I've no more fucks to give. My fucks have run up dry. I've tried to go fuck shopping, but there's no fucks left to buy. I've no more fucks to give. The more fucks I've tried to get, I'm over my fuck budget and I'm now in fucking debt. What a video, by the way. What a song. Um, I've credited that person to the bottom of this video if you want to check him out further. What I will say though is welcome back. Welcome to my channel. Awesome to see you. Yes, I do care. I do sometimes. Not when it's people hounding me at that. Oh, you shit. You, you can't do this. Fuck off. Um, reason being, why would I want to do a 30 to 40 minute video on Tron explaining the whole benefits and the whole ben lack of benefits and be classed as a shiller? Pointless. Same with Electronium. Bit of good. A lot of negative. Don't care. My channel. So let's talk about some cool stuff first. I want to teach you a bit about an element of trading that is often overlooked and it's finding trades. Reason being, people tend to look and look and look and look and find the trade when they're trying to force a trade, if that makes sense. So what they do is they keep looking forever and ever, finding a trade that doesn't exist and just go into it and lose money. There's a crypto screener on TradingView and I want to talk about that because I like it. But first, before you do anything, like and subscribe to my channel for fuck's sake. Come on, there's some absolute idiots on YouTube that do not know how to trade. They just know how to take payment, they know how to set up an address and they talk about coins. They get paid for this shit, I don't. I literally trade and learn the harder way to do stuff. It's brilliant, but I also teach people, so check out the URLs below, check out all the channels and shit and come and say hello. I'm quite nice usually. But yeah, let's talk about trading and what people tend to do is this. They go into Google and they search for like trade finders. Trading alerts. Trading signals. Oh shit, I can't spell. Utter bollocks, right. Now, I am doing a trading challenge. This is not a signal though. It's not me saying, right, this is what you need to do. It is more educational. It is me going through the news, going through the developments of the coins, going through all the stuff that could make a coin go oop. Usually, the likes of Zilliqa recently, uh, basic attention token, whew, Tron, they've all went up due to fundamentals of news. But Coinbase listing, it tickled up for 100%. You had Tron, a bit torrent. You've also got Zilliqa mainnet launch. If you look at those coins and go from where they started and where they are now, they're a lot higher due to that news. You've got to check it out and look. And look at Ethereum as well. I had a bit of, I wouldn't say beef. Someone on my Facebook was like, ah, oh, you're talking bollocks. Ethereum was going to do this. On the day that it did that thing, it broke out of a channel. They announced that the fork update was going to be on the 16th of January. This was on like the 8th and 9th of December. Whatever it was, can't remember now. And that's when it started to trickle up from eighty-nine cents uh, dollars, sorry, or the lows of eighty-two or whatever it was. So news is a big thing, and that's what how I trade. I trade off the news. I trade off development. Certainly on Binance, I look to see what the hell is happening. Reason being, that has a big impact on a market that is so small. So don't start looking for trading signals. Just use your fucking brain. Look and see what is happening in the market and if you start seeing a coin in an uptrend top tip i have links below to teach you how to do certain shit if you know what an uptrend is you get into it off a good position entry point basically on a bounce simple as that so in terms of this trade here let's have a look at it i have this obviously it is amazing i've got one fucking trade on it 3.4 uh, 3.54 percent on a, on a small position. Basically to show you that you can make money in a bear market if you look and be a bit savvy at trades. Reason why I chose this coin was because a mainnet launch is happening in March, I will probably return, and core 2.0. The reason why this happened, that was because of a coin listing. It was listed on a coin. Oh, hello. What's happening with Tronics? Do, 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 do. Mm. Nothing spectacular yet. So yeah, that, that's kind of what I was doing. Um, literally, sorry, I got totally distracted there. And my phone's gone nuts, crazy. So yeah, that, that coin listing happened. Hello, dog. If you, know, if you want to know what a Belgian Malinois is, check the photo. This person, dog, over here. Crazy animal. Hello. 
Good, goodie bye. Anyways, um, so basically what's happened is I've gone to the 30 minute time frame here. And this here was the, the announcement essentially during the night that it was going to be listed in, I can't remember, up bit maybe? Some exchange, South Korean one. And it absolutely moonbagged and it's obviously come down. But I caught the bounce. I caught a bounce at 11.30 down here somewhere. That's far out of time frame. Let's have a look at it. On the time, far out of time frame, which is what I use on Binance, I caught it down here about 11.30. Um, on the bounce up from this point, I could have got in a lot earlier, but I didn't, and it went all the way back up, and well, this candlestick, sorry, up to this pivot point. If you don't use pivot points, check them out; they're awesome. Um, and yeah, sold at 1170, so I mean, pretty decent profit. Three, well, three and a half percent is not a bad gain for one trade. So, you know, move on, find another one. But I will probably return to this coin because I do think that this will start to continue into a decent looking trend in the future uh, not now maybe a bit too soon but we'll see what happens certainly things will improve certainly news and developments will always make a coin tick and that's what i'm talking about but i want to mention this as well i want to really mention this because this is something that people what i mentioned before google people look at that if you have got trading view you're paying money for it use their tools on it jesus christ right so the problem is that people do google they look for signals they go on telegram groups they do all that shit it's all here, all here. So what you do is you, you open it up, you go onto your filter and you go on Binance, if that's your exchange or any other exchange you want to look for. Check what volume, you don't want to go too low because you'll never get your orders sold and fiddle around with it. But what I will say, do it with caution when you're on the technical side of it. Some stuff rules each other out. So if you're looking for certain things, make sure it's not gonna be ruled out by something else. So make sure that you are getting the correct results. You may be trading off certain elements. That screen's gonna fall on my head, isn't it? No, we're okay. Dog went black behind it. Christ, this video is gonna be an absolute car crash, isn't it? So just be absolutely careful of what you're looking for. For example, you can't have certain moving averages together if they're, they're not on your chart. You know, it doesn't make sense. So you've got to make sure you've got the certain indicators on there and the right ones. If you're using scripts, it doesn't really work because if you've got an RSI script and the RSI on here is there, it won't show because it's not on your chart. So make sure you are looking at your chart as well correctly. So that's it, it's brilliant. And what I will say is use it because what it does is, mine's filtered down to a certain volume and it gives you a strong buy indication. When I go onto these, you can pick it on the time frame. So the daily, you can see the gains of the daily. Like Some coins have been crazy gains. And if you just go on the last 15 minutes, you can, you can find out the volatility of the volume going into coins. and that's really really good and the strong buys at the moment on the 15 minute time frame is echoing that the prices of altcoins are getting quite confident right now it's starting to pick up a little bit not much but a little bit so just just have a look and be careful and if i just open up a coin here let's find a random coin do, 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 do. coin dash what the fuck is coin dash so a look strong indication to buy on the 15 minute time frame it's actually been trending up since this morning so on the four hour time frame, sorry, oh, no, yesterday, four hour time frame, cool. That's actually the wrong coin. Is it the wrong coin? Hold on, have I balls this right up? No, CDT, it's right. One of those days. So, yeah, that is holding a trend. That could go up. It could, but it could also fall through the support. And that's a pivot point there. That is support. That is also support the EMAs. It could boom, go up to this area, could retest these, these wicks up here. Could. Me not, but it could also go down here. Mm -hmm. So it's at risk and reward. And what you do is, a bit of a, a bit of savvy trick for you, use a fucking stop loss. Jesus Christ, people who don't use stop losses deserve not to trade. So if you say, for example, I know I'm going way over this and you're getting some right free cool shit here. You use the stop loss right below that area, which would be a 2.78% loss if it doesn't do what it's supposed to. If it's gonna go up to this point here, 2.74 return of, you know, risk reward return, whatever you want to describe it as, risk reward re re ratio, I call it return. So basically the chances of me winning that is slightly higher than, or a lot higher than losing. So, you know, that's what you go off. Simple, simple. Not a, not a signal, but just a observation. So that's what you do. You look for a coin, you look for a coin that's potentially gonna go up trending got a good amount of support or in a good area you're never gonna buy a coin up here you're never gonna buy a coin at resistance or up at the peak people do a lot of people do so just be aware of that so there you go 
some free shit to give you some free cool stuff enjoy it like it love me send me shit don't really don't really care just subscribe and say hello I've no more fucks to give My fuck fuse has just blown I've been hunting for my fucks all day But they've upped and fucked off home I've no more fucks to give My fuck rations are depleted I've rallied my fuck army But it's been